Hello and welcome to the space that gives you inspiration on work, on life and how to balance both worlds. I hope you have your paper, your pen, your glass of juice or your cup of tea and coffee because things are gonna get serious. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know every time a video goes up. Oh, you guys, happy Mother's Day um it was such a beautiful day i don't know if you watched our bump love episode of mother's day um and even my last week's video that was really dedicated to all moms especially my mom and you know i could share with you my purpose journey but one of the things that i shared with you last week was that i wanted like there was a part where I told you I started work. We, you know, we're talking all things work together for good, for the good of those. Who, to, <laughs> all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. We've been kind of talking about purpose. Like I've really gotten deep into this thing called purpose this year, especially because I felt last year people weren't getting it and the importance and the gravity of living a life of purpose because then that means that you're living a fulfilled life, but you're living a life without struggle. You're like a river. For every rock you find, you will navigate around it. So when you live a life of purpose, everything will work for your good. And I shared my own everything that worked for my good to help me come up with my purpose. Now, I did share that. I was going to share a bit about my career because my career was also part of my all things work together for good. And for a period of my life, a, you know, a good period of my life, I was actually in um, a career, I was, I was chasing a particular career. And I kind of want to share with you how in that state of confusion, especially because of the way our education system here works, I didn't get it the first time, didn't get it the second time, didn't get it the third time, didn't get it. And I remember thinking to myself, gosh, why can't I focus? But I didn't know that in all of the workplaces that I was in, God was preparing me for the next part of my purpose. Because again, like I said, all things work for your good. And one of the things that, like from my experience going through that, one of the things that I like to say is that you need to treat your career like a business because we're all entrepreneurs. Um, just that your job um, is your only client. You actually have a business. It's just that, you know, your employer, your current employer is your only client. So we're all entrepreneurs. It's just how we're doing it. Some people will build businesses. Some people will work in a business and neither of them has a problem actually, because we need both. I mean, if we're all building businesses, then who's working in the businesses, right? So all of these work, um, there's no right or wrong answer. So, I wanted to share my career journey. I started off, the, <laughs> my first workplace was at Rimagai Tropicals, which is my mom's organization, my mom's company, her juice company, but it also doubled with a phone company. Rinal, did you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> and um, so it, it started off with a phone company. So when Simba Telecom had just started, and MTN has, had just come and call boxes. <laughs> there are people who I'm talking about call boxes, they're like, what call boxes? Well, so let me tell you. Not every, there was a time when not everybody had a mobile phone. Yeah, this is like in my lifetime, I saw it happen. People didn't have phones. So they would have to go to a place that was called a call box. And at that place, they would pay money for us to call people on their behalf. <laughs> ah, how ironic how ironic now but my mom um had call boxes she had in mulago she had in uh, mccary university she had uh, on kampala road um have i forgotten any and mango hospital she's such an entrepreneurial lady that woman i love her but anyway so she had these call boxes and then her employees were her children this one, I remember all of us, we worked, isn't it? Yeah. But, so that was our first job. Then after that, the call boxes that it became too many. And as if that wasn't enough, people started to buy mobile phones. They became cheaper and cheaper before we knew it. What was the use? 
what was the use of the phone in the call box yet you had your own phone you know i mean those were call boxes were places where you'd buy airtime scratch cards like do you know those things do you know them guys do you know you put up your hand if you know you tell, let me know in the comment section because there's some of you who are like what scratch what yeah that's how we used to get airtime there'd be these little cards mr Bita, do you remember them i doubt ah these little cards that you'd have to use a coin to scratch to see a number do star one five whatever put in a number hash and then voila you have airtime so those call boxes used to sell those scratch cards now who, who uses scratch cards anymore so really they became obsolete right but my mom got out of that business like right on time on the nick of time and started her juice company which we were also um employees and in in those two companies i didn't know that god was preparing me to learn on things like customer service customer service was so important because i feel like that at, at the time when we started um most times my mom would would be among the first people to start like ju selling juice on the street that was my mom like she was the first one in this country well at least in kampala hawking juice that was my mom and then um starting these juice these uh, the telephone lines maybe not the first but really she was among the first but then after a while it became really competitive and you really needed to have good customer service so we had very good fast mover advantage and then also very good customer service we really needed to have great customer service so i didn't know then that the work i was doing that time was for me to learn customer service um right after campus because i sold juice until the day before i got married um <laughs> can't believe i last sold juice 10 years ago but anyway just before we got married because we needed money <laughs> I was still hawking juice on the day before I got married. You know, like how brides like are away. They're doing their hair. They're doing their nails. I was doing my nails as I was selling juice. But anyway, story for another day. Um, I then next worked in an HR firm. In that firm, I was an account manager, um, which is really a salesperson. So at this HR firm, I was getting um, human resource, sales, and marketing. And remember, I already had customer service then i next worked in a church-based organization and because i'd been working with children all of this time in sunday school and whatever this became like an official sunday school job where i could get paid for doing what i love right but it was in that time that i met so many kinds of children so many kinds of moms and i started to get really interested in early childhood um, as an actual career right so i had um customer service human resource sales marketing and now i'd gotten into early childhood after i'd worked um in a church-based organization for about three four years i got a job in a financial institution like do you see that career path like it it it's so everywhere you know what i mean anyway I, I get a, a job in a financial institution. I start with branding, okay? After branding, I then go into marketing. And now, when I was working in the, in the HR firm, I was really just starting. But now when I entered the financial institution to do marketing, it was real hardcore marketing of I'd even gone to school to do marketing. OK, so remember, I've done I've gone into jobs that have taught me customer service that have been purely based one on customer service, another one human resource, another one marketing, another one sales, another one early childhood, another one. Well, marketing, I've already said that, but now the financial institution also taught me on finance oh guys yo i started to look at how people spend money in their businesses how people plan their businesses uh their finances in their businesses what a bank considers as a good business what a bad uh, bank considers as a bad business what happens when you get mm, wow so the financial aspect that one i got from the bank the other thing that i got from the bank which i found find absolutely amazing was uh, management 
So in all of the roles that I had been in before, I was never in management. But in the financial institution, I was able to get onto the management team. So management also became a big, huge thing that I learned. And while doing management, I also did a lot of strategy. So strategy was really, 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 really critical um, to my role. And that I learned from the financial institution. The other thing that I got from the financial institution on this one was... Um, big for me was operations yeah and that includes things like systems and processes but, um it also includes things like pro procurement it includes audit all of that happened in the bank and i feel like i had to go to a you know i came from a church-based organization that celebrated my <laughs> my sanguine nature and i could do things when i wanted how i wanted them i could spend money the way i wanted to but then in the financial institution it kind of like put me in a certain like it tried its best to force me into a certain box i didn't like the process i kid you not but i understood why because again all things work together for the good of those that are loved uh to the, all things work together. Why, why is the scripture giving me a hard time? All things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. So here I am by, um, um, by age 27. I have customer service in my pocket. I have human resource. I have sales. I have marketing. Yes, they are different. Please, please. There's no such thing as marketeer, please. Let me say that. Let me correct that. There's no marketing and sales are different. Marketing is done way before sales. So please, when people tell you they are marketer, please ask them what they mean. If they mean they are selling things, that sells. But that's that's it. So in my bag, I had customer service, I had human resource, I had sales, I had marketing, I had early childhood, I had finance, I had strategy, I had management and I had operations. I had no idea that when now at that point, my, that strong emotion that I talked about last week um, caused me to leave the job, that I would be applying all of those sectors of business into my own business. All those sectors that I had, you know, all those areas that I had learned in jobs before, now we're going to be applied into my very own business, which is based on my purpose. Do you see where I'm going with this, guys? Do you see where I'm going with this? Isn't that so powerful? That really, indeed, all things have worked together for your good, for you, for you who knows your purpose, it's so important that you know your purpose, that you might walk in your purpose. And so, as luck would have it, I was able to get all the things that I have learned in the different careers that I, you know, jobs that I have gone through in my career as an entrepreneur. All the things that I have gone through, been able to document them and created a course for people that would like to enter the childhood, early childhood sector, something called the child care business course. For anyone that has a business in child care, we can train you, I can train you personally based off of my experience in the sector, but my experience in other jobs that I have used to apply for my own child care business. That is a child care business course. I'll leave a, you know, a link um, in the description box or in the first pinned comment from me in the comment section. Um, but also, if you're wondering this thing called purpose, like Manuela has really talked about it and you want to be a part of it, it's not too late. You can join the purpose circuit um, right now for only 500,000 shillings. We're talking purpose, we're talking personal branding, we're talking reaching your full potential, we're talking starting a business or starting a career based off of your purpose okay now if you're looking for a child care center to go to that that's a cradle <laughs> until next time i can't wait to see you bye bye mm.